Some time ago this year, uh, uh, precisely around February this year, we did a video. That video was about criticizing the Ministry of Art and Culture on our dilapidated and fallen statues surrounding major uh, central places in Benin, notably about Voramen Square, uh, Ekoba Slope, and every other place in Benin. So uh, we in, in the recent times, we discovered that our cry was heard for whatever reasons, whether because um, we spoke about those dilapidated statues in Benin to be fixed, or because of the upcoming uh, NAFEST, uh, National Festival coming uh, hosted by uh, Edo State, uh, that those statues were constructed. But once in a second, I'm sure that. Uh, when we put that video out, we, because we spoke to authority, they were not happy about it. And, um, but to, today, everyone is happy because those statues have been fixed. We are, we are thankful, we are grateful. When we criticized, we criticized the, the Ministry of Art and Culture under the leadership of uh, Honorable Sazar Senegero. And so if we are also grateful, we also should also be grateful to the Ministry of Art and Culture under the leadership of uh, Honorable Saje or Senghiero. However, whatever reasons, it was fixed, whether because there was a public outcry that, that those statues should be fixed, or whether because there is an incoming, uh, upcoming NAFEST, uh, uh, national festival in a do state. So whatever reasons, we are grateful, we are being appreciative of, uh, of the job that was, work, that was done there. It was a well done job, but however, we still would there. I, in particular, would like to make an observation. An observation that it is not just enough to fish those statues. I'm sure that by the time the honourable, the honourable commissioner visits Ring Road, a lot of persons, these uh, uh, sellers, these uh, hawkers, these madmen and mad women in Central Benin, they are already messing their up. So we are calling on the ministry. Of of art and culture to also ensure that not just building those statues or reconstructing them but to also put policies in place to check to checkmate people uh, messing those statues up because that is our heritage that is our culture that is what makes uh, people being excited uh, ringwood is like the heart of a state and anybody coming into benin city must pass through ringwood so Policies they should put policies in place to, to, to check to check make people running and uh, making amends of these beautifully done uh, statues. And uh, again, uh, I, I want to appreciate uh, those people who, when they heard that these statues, when we did the video, there was a public outcry and they all came out, and uh, a lot of Benin's people came out, and they, and, the, and the fact that it, there, there is a need to do something about it. Where GBD appreciates all of you, GBD thanks all of you, and uh, we also will say that um, there are other future constructive criticisms that might come, not because that uh, one want to engage in political matters, because GBD absolutely abhors politics for the over past two years. Of his existence but because we understand that we as a group we promote the very culture the very heritage the very history of our of our land and it is also our duty to ensure that these things around us should reflect the true history the true culture the true heritage of our land so we might speak to authority on some cases should we make observations but there should be rest assured that is going to be constructive and it's going to be truthful not because we want to make a public outcry or get uh, popularity from that but because we want these things to be done and i'm sure that after those statues were fixed the there was a public outcry as well on on, on facebook that ah, Benin is not beautiful so it is a win-win situation for everybody 
you 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 uh, those who will criticize the fix it and eventually got it fixed for whatever reasons uh, it doesn't matter but the most important thing those things were fixed and i'm sure they are also happy passing through king square how beautiful those statues are so we are happy about it and uh, we are grateful to god uh, and our ancestors and to the other beginning for for creating this opportunity for us to speak to authorities and, and the authorities also listening to us so we want to uh, uh, on behalf of me my executives and the board of trustees we want to welcome all participants of this edition of nafest to a do state in my and so and i hope that a history was made when a do state for the first time since the creation of the city in 1991 um, is hosting NAFES and I'm sure that everybody is coming to the home of history and culture and um, my, we pray to our God, our ancestors to protect every participant of this program so that by the time they go to their respective states they will have a lot to talk about coming to the very home of history and culture in Nigeria. Why are why are we so why are Obokia or Bagatok Bay is said?